Hey, creators. That's what I'm gonna call you all here on the Tuesday. I feel like we're all creators. We might be artists, we might not be, but at the end of the day, we're all making something. Welcome back to the studio, y'all. I'm Aramis the Artist. If you're new here, happy new year. If you've been following me on Instagram, then you know that your girl is feeling some type of way. It has been a little difficult just with the holidays. You know what's crazy? Like New Year's is actually like the one holiday that I always go home to Chicago for. So if you all are new here, I live in Seattle. I'm from Chicago, born and raised, but I've been out in here in Seattle for about seven years. I love Thanksgiving, of course. Love Christmas. Those holidays are all great. But New Year's is always the time when I'm home. Like I'm always in Chicago for New Year's, no matter what. Well, I mean, you know. But of course, COVID and everything that's been going on, this was a this was a different New Year's for me. This was really different emotionally, energetically. But anywho, y'all are here for the studio vlog. So I hope you all are doing well. Just letting y'all know if y'all feel some type of way during this new year, you are not alone. So I'm super excited. There's so many good things happening. I finished the painting. I'm gonna tell y'all more about that in the studio vlog. So you know what you need to do. Grab you a cup of tea and let's hop into the studio vlog. I hold myself to a cord, waiting for the day that you come back to me. I made it to the studio, y'all. I'm about to start a call with Shannon today. I was here earlier. Robin and Amanda came to pick up their original painting, Let It Be. I absolutely love that painting. It's always hard to see the babies go you know it is it's always hard it's always a little rough but it's just so amazing when it goes to phenomenal people especially when it goes to the patreon community absolutely love y'all thank you so much so i'm about to stretch this other painting which is the new piece called the rebirth mm, can't wait to break that one down for y'all and that one has a collector too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Another patron. Like, shout out to the Patreon community. They begin first dibs, y'all. They begin first dibs at them original. So, about to hop on this meeting with Shannon. She's about to join us in just a second. And yeah, we'll go from there. <laughs> Y'all, I am so excited to stretch this piece. It's all done, okay? It is called The Rebirth, and she is ready. So I got her all laid out. I do have the heavy-duty stretcher bars on there that I get from Blick. And so since she is so long, I wanted to get a cross brace in here. So I just cut that because I got one too long. I wasn't sure what size, so I'm actually going to take these back to Blick. Of course, the size that I needed, they did not have. I wanted it to be 33 by 69. It ended up being 32 by 68 um, because they didn't have the size that I wanted. But now that it's all laid out, this is the perfect size. So sometimes the universe be working in your favor, okay? Since I wasn't sure what the final size was gonna be and I got some extra, I got a, a cross brace bigger than what I needed. So when I came back here to the studio, I could just cut and adjust it. And so it fits perfectly. And then I'm gonna be adding the cross brace brackets in there just to prevent it from warping. It is such a long, unique shape. And the last thing I want is for it to be warping at my collector's home. How I stretch my canvases, I get the stretcher bars. Actually, before I even start that process, I'm pretty much laying out how I want the final image to be. And so for this one, since it was so wonky, this was a piece that I didn't uh, put the tape on. So for me, I'm kind of just like, mm, where do I want it to be? And over here, there is a little tear because this was actually some canvas from my yellow number five exhibition. So. Tip them, boo. If you are watching this, <laughs> you actually have a piece of the original canvas where I created all three of the yellow number five exhibition paintings. All of those came from one canvas tarp. And so I had just like a little piece of canvas left after I painted all of those. And I was like, what am I gonna do with this? I'm like, it's an odd shape. It's a little different. Maybe this piece can be horizontal and it can be something interesting and special. And so you all saw the process from one of my previous vlogs how I laid this piece down and really didn't have a, an idea or a composition going forward and the rebirth 
was burnt. And here we are. But since I didn't tape it how I usually do, um, I'm really not sure exactly where I want it to be. And so what I did, once the um, stretcher bars were all assembled, what I'm gonna do is staple it in each spot just so that I can make sure that it's all set up how I want it to be. So let me show you all what I mean. Okay, now that those staple holders are in place, it's just like holding it just so that I can take a look at it. Let's lift the painting up and see how it looks just to make sure we have the stretcher bars in the right place. I think we're actually good. Ooh. Man, I love this painting. We feeling good? Obviously, your girl's geek. I love stretching canvas. I, I just love art, obviously. It's right where I need it to be, so now what I'm gonna do is outline the corners just so that I can uh, remember where I put the stretcher bars, and I'm gonna take those staples off. I only put four, it wasn't, it wasn't too many, um, and so I'm now gonna take those off so that I can pull the canvas even tighter now that I know that it's exactly where it needs to be. I'm about to lock it in. painting is looking amazing. I'm absolutely in love. So what I'm going to do now is varnish it. So I like to use, let me grab it. So this is the brand Liquitex gloss varnish. I like to use this for um, the last varnish to protect the painting. It has UV protection in it. So if the piece is near the sun, it'll keep it safe and it can keep the colors nice and bright. And it makes it really easy for the piece to be cleaned too. Of course, you should never use any, any cleaning products on your painting, but like a light dusting is really good. And when it has a nice gloss finish, it makes it super easy for any little particles to get off versus if it's matte. The tool that I like to use is a sponge brush these are really nice because they don't leave any paint strokes uh, when the varnish is all dry you know versus if you use a paintbrush you can see like some of the little hairs that's coming through the paintbrush I mean the sponge brush is actually really nice and smooth so it's perfect for your top coat so let's hop into it
we got the varnish on there. She's looking. She is blinged out like the gloss just, mm, chef's kiss would just make it pop. You know, when you put that gloss on the lip, it just be like, yes. <laughs> I love it. So I'm gonna let this dry. I'm probably gonna come back tomorrow because it's getting late. Yes, it's about five o'clock, it's 4.57. Look, actually, look at my lock screen, y'all. Can you see it? Can you see it? Pretty much, it's the painting. It's the rebirth. It's my reminder, it's my personal reminder that I can be the shape shifter, the matter mover. I have the power to change anything in my life. I have the access to harness this energy once I acknowledge my own agency, okay? I absolutely love this painting and like for it to be gone so soon. Of course, I am beyond honored and so grateful. But it's always nice just to like, have them in my space for a little bit, but you know what? Your girl's gonna get a print. I'm gonna let my collectors have the originals because they truly deserve them. And I'm so honored to have my work in other people's homes. I'm so excited, Tipton. I'm excited for you, boo. Okay, it's time for me to wrap up, y'all. It's getting a little late. I'm tired, I'm hungry. I'm gonna see you all tomorrow I'm back in the studio. Good morning, team. We are back in the studio and yes, it is morning. <laughs> I'm giving you all the accurate time. Uh, we're back here in the studio. Let me show y'all the painting. Oh my God. She's looking amazing. Got that varnish layer on there. Gonna put another coat on today. She's all dry. Today is New Year's Eve. Yeah, I feel like it's almost like another day, <laughs> just because usually we'd be going to a New Year's Eve party or celebrating with family and friends, which we probably still will, just digitally, you know, through the WhatsApp video calls and Zoom and stuff like that. But yeah, so pretty much I'm like, okay, today is uh, kind of just another Thursday. So your girl's about to be in the studio working, but I'm still excited for the new year. We can officially, officially be out of 2020. You know what came to me though the other day is that the babies who were born in Y2K, right? Like the 2000s, will officially become of drinking age this year in 2021. Like, them babies is 21 now. Like, <laughs> are we old? Am I old? I'm not that old, y'all. I'm only 31. So, I mean, you know, not at all. <laughs> What's the game plan today? Actually, I'm gonna be recording an update for the Patreon community. Man, there's just so many goodies that's gonna be going, that's gonna be going live this coming year. So if y'all are not a part of the Patreon community, I would highly suggest that you join, okay? This year, I'm gonna be having all sorts of goodies in there. Actually, I need, I need to first tell them first. I'm gonna tell them first what's coming and then on the next video, I'll be able to let you all know um, what goodies are there. And, and also that'll be like the announcement that some of those things are now officially live and you all can join us over there. So let me first tell the Patriots <laughs> and then I can come back here and tell the tube team. But so I'm gonna be recording that update today, getting some more pins shipped out y'all. We There are still orders coming in for the pins. I still have more pins left. Um, we are really coming up to a close on the pins and I'm super excited. I feel like the entire, all of Seattle has those V pins, okay? And I might start some painting on Pisces. We might, <laughs> we might, we'll see how the day goes. Right and early, right and early, we want the battery to die. You are something else. No, 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 that's you. That's you. <laughs> Your girl has wised up and leveled up. Well, I can I do without you from beginning to the end? Being here right beside me, so I call you my best friend. Hey, 
back in the studio. It's another day. I'm geek, y'all. Am, am I geek? I always default to being geek because like my, my baseline is usually like a level of excitement. So I'm excited, but also a little melancholy. So I'm excited because I'm officially starting some more work on Pisces. She's been on hold forever because of all the other shows, all the other things that I've been doing. But I'm also feeling a little melancholy because she is the last Zodiac in this entire series. Well, and Pisces is the 12th Zodiac sign. I've been working on this series for three years. So to even think that it's, that it's gonna be coming to a close this year feels really weird. Um, I feel really proud of myself at the same time. I feel, <sighs> yeah, yeah. And what's funny is like, I always feel like this after I end a painting, I'm like, oh, like, <laughs> like, yay, I'm done. But also it's like, <sighs> it's over, but, um, I've never worked on a series this long and this big. And so now to think that this entire project is coming to an end soon, is crazy, it's crazy. So you all probably saw, where did you probably see me pouring this baseline? Oh, in the last video, yeah. So thank you all so much for the feedback on the canvas video. I'm glad I was able to help and offer some insight. So if you all missed that canvas one-on-one -on -one video, go check that one out that has all the canvas details and I show how I poured the background layer for this piece. Um, and so I left a little white in the center part just so that I can uh, add the portrait figure. I'm learning just to not cover the entire canvas. Like it, it kind of just depends on the subject matter. Pretty much in this case, I didn't want to cover the entire canvas with paint because I knew something was going to come in this center space. I already had a little bit of, of a composition idea in mind. I left the center part white. And so now that I have um, an idea, an actual figure of a woman that I'm inspired by, so now I'm working her in. Uh, but now there's like some white spaces around her that I need to go fill in. So I'm filling in that color now. Let's hop back into it. because Pisces is coming together so nicely. Y'all, I feel like the koi fish, I don't even know how I thought of that. It makes sense though, right? Like Pisces is the fish. And like, I didn't want to do a typical mermaid. No shade, absolutely love mermaids. You all probably saw the mermaid that I painted for Lily at Texture Salon. But for this piece, I wanted it to be something different, something unique, and of course, Pisces has to be a vibe because Pisces are vibes. Let me know what y'all signs are down in the comments. Your girl, as you know, is a Gemini, June 5th over here. Drop your birthdays, drop your signs. I would love to know. I have to give a special shout out to my patrons. I am so grateful for the Patreon community over there. And, and just so you know, patrons, there is a new video that has just been uploaded on the Patreon platform. So make sure you check that out. Tube team, of course, I would love for you to join us in the Patreon community as well. If you like, and if you have the means, I'm gonna drop that information down below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And remember, if you liked it, like it, and I'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm.